what if I told you guys that to make fire beats you don't need one actually when I curse just blurb out the curse what if I told you to make fire beats you don't need one single god damn blurb BST you don't need any of that blurb all you need is one shots would you believe me so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use one shots if you guys don't know what one shots are they're basically like rendered versions of each sound of a melody it takes up a lot less CPU space so if you have a crappy computer it'll be very useful for that I'm gonna make a handful of beats here and show you guys the whole process and I'm gonna show you how how effective it really can be you don't need a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of expensive VSTs to be able to start producing really good high quality beats so let's jump into this thing oh and real quick I'm working on a new kit if you guys want that you see me use it in the video let's get this to 3000 and likes and I'll send a bunch of commenters uh, in, in the comment section the beta version of that kit with a handful of the sounds uh, to test it out also I never mentioned this but please like and subscribe if you like the video like subscribe please click the bell turn on everything I, I never I never bring this stuff up but please do that for me helps me so much all right let's start this thing off let's bump this up to 150 probably do that uh, and this is this is what uh, one shots look like if, in case you guys aren't familiar they look and sound like you got different sections and stuff here, like synths, bass, blah, 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 all that stuff, but you get the idea. Uh, the only thing you have to know is that when you do bring in uh, these, it works a little differently than if you're using a VST, so you are gonna have to come in here. I would not suggest putting cut self on. That uh, might be a habit of yours for sound, but don't do that, leave it off, and then come in here and just uh, automate the envelope so that you have full control of when the note stops. So with that being said, let's just jump into it, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys as, as we make some bass. Perfect, perfect. I gotta go. Have fun, bro. Just have fun. Start making some sound. Start laying down some patterns, see what works. It'd probably be easier if I, I know it's just two layers, but it'd be easier if I just start drums on this and then I'll be able to hear like pockets and stuff like that. It's one thing I like to do. I, I know I say it all the time, but new viewers, throw some drums on stuff. If you're, especially if you're new, like lay down one or two layers. You don't got to make 10 layers of melodies before you start thinking about like how you're going to fit in the drums on everything. Oh, here's the new kit. Here's the new kit. I, it's like, it's like 50% done. 50%. I added a whole bunch more sounds today. Sound your shlurka, bro. Have fun. All right, now I got those down. I, I have a little bit better of an idea of like what would sound good on a on on drums like this. So go so back in. This is one thing I never see people do. Just don't be afraid to be bouncing around between doing drums and adding melodies. Uh, it's not a big deal. Dun, 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 dun. So, oh man, here, actually, here, I just did it like subconsciously. Here's one thing I like to do. I, I didn't explain it. Sometimes you just put a rhythm down as a melody, put a rhythm down and then go in and change the notes. Cause if you find out that it fits the pocket, sometimes it's just about it resonating on the right notes, but the actual drum pocket is there. You smelling what I'm, what I'm farting bro? You, you know what I, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of already like a dumb beat, but let's just start rounding out all the sounds and get like meticulous with it. Let's find a pocket. See this whole time, I didn't even want this to be a clap. I don't want this to be a clap. We're gonna go do some, something different. JK, I do want it to be a clap. I, I lied straight to your face, so get over it. I think what can maybe bring this together is like a sound effects melody. Like some just to add that little texture to give it like that. What's the word? That je ne sais quoi. Well, maybe we just add a guitar. It could be hard. That's, set, that's the vibe I'm on right now lately anyway, so. All right, let's actually start bringing this all together. Uh, I'm gonna take these one by one because I know how I'm gonna wanna mix them.
Let me bring the drums in. Psych, I muted everything. We bring the drums in. Now the big thing for me is arrangement. It's one of my favorite things to do. You really gotta like bring everything home together. You gotta introduce stuff, uh, like introduce it like you're opening the door for it. Does that, does that make sense? Like you're opening the door for the sound. You're like, welcome in. It can't just barge in, you know what I mean? Cause then it's gonna be unexpected. It could be unexpected. The analogy, I don't know if it's working. The analogy is doing okay. You know what I mean, watch. Then you introduce more stuff here. A good idea, good idea I like to do is when you introduce a new sound, sometimes drop out another sound so that you make more room because also the artist has got to be on these things. I know I'm teaching you guys how to make beats with one shots, but if your goal is to make songs with artists, you got to keep these things in mind at the same time as you're doing a lot of this stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot to worry about at one time, but I promise if you approach it from like a fun aspect and you're actually trying to learn, you'll eventually get it. It's just reps. It's a repetition thing. Listen, all right, listen. Beat number one done. I gotta add the signature. I gotta add the signature. Here's a, here's a different one. Add that on the front. I've been doing my tag a little bit differently. I, I, what do you guys think? I've been doing this. I've been bring, bringing my old preset on it, but then I've been doing this. All right, be number one done. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. I want to show you guys. Actually, no. Draw my Discord. Discord link in the description below. It's a great place for you guys to go meet with producers. I'm going to put the loop in there. That's a good catch. I'm going to do that instead. I'll make a little incentive for you guys to join. But it, I'm doing it for a good reason. It's really good Discord. Uh, close to 40,000 members. And uh, we getting placements left and right in there. I'll top in. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. I'll do something with some chords this time. So it doesn't look like I'm just laying down like just random notes on the MIDI. A little bit of a wobble here. Actually, I should be using the shortcut Shift S. Somebody told me this in uh, in the in the VC. It's another reason why I should do Discord. Uh, the shortcut for doing a slide now is Shift S. As you, hello, Control Shift S. No, am I tripping? Oh, I wasn't holding S. That helps. Just that little subtle thing makes it feel like it's got like like looper rater or something on it. Some some paid effect that you don't really need because you got the one shots and you're able to just put a slide note and it'll slide it down to that note. Ooh, let's get some like heavy blue going. I'll do that for all of them. That'd be hard. It's just them tension notes, these two notes that I keep playing with over here towards the end, the D, the D sharp, all the little tension notes. That's what gives it that, like that, that ominous. I'm gonna mix some of these because a lot of the sounds are a little bit harsher than I would probably want to put drums on to. Back in a new kid, he's eight away. That is. I did say I want to do two eight away too, so. Hey 
goes down like with the melody. That's what I was shut the fluke up. Yo, it goes down with the melody. That's what I was trying to say. Is like just those little things. That's what really gives your beats that like that craziness, that that, that smoothness, that like goddamn. How do you think of that? Why does it just roll into the next part of the beat? So fucking nasty and effortless. And I gotta stop cursing. They're gonna demonetize me. Editors working overtime. So all the sound effects in this new kit I have are just all time stretched to like where they should be. So when you come over here and I just put this on here, the machine gun part's gonna hit right here. You know what I'm saying? So everything's on time for you always. Now you know what we do next. We gotta arrange that baby. It's gotta make sense. But you don't gotta overthink it too much. It's not a hard process. You shouldn't be arranging it and being like befuddled. You shouldn't be confused. You shouldn't be like lost when you're doing it. Don't worry about it. Just break everything up into sections of eight like this. And then you, you once you get more advanced, you can break the rules. But if you're newer, just go ahead and, and just lay it down pretty simple. Just break it up into sections of eight. You could go like that, or you can make the beat just start off. Then you have 16 here. So that you can have like a hook and you could do 16 for the verse it could be like this and then you figure it out that way see it just makes sense coming back in bring it into the other section then you just you could just loop it if, if you're newer you just loop it They'll still come back in hard like this. And then, yeah, the last thing you gotta do, is just sauce that blue up, make it come in really fire, add your tag, add whatever, add your signature, go perfect. We're gonna go stupid. Perfect. I can't save anything. I, I told my chat the last time, you guys in the last video, my, my computer's all messed up. I can't even save like a bunch of these. Cool blurky presets I've been making, I can't save any of them. All right, here's a preview of the beat. <laughs> There you have it. If you guys did enjoy, uh, I have this. I have a Patreon, and you guys can go there. It's eight bucks uh, for the lowest tier. You could get all a, bu a whole bunch of loops and drums and a bunch of FOPs. Go check it out. If you like it, you know, stay. If you don't, just download all the stuff and, and do it. I don't. I hope you like it. I hope you stay. But it's a viable option. You could do that. I, I won't be pissed at you. But please, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know. Uh, I'm uh, link it for this in my Discord. The loops that I use in the video in this Discord. Love you guys. Bye. Subscribe. Like. Blah blah blah.